Right, okay, welcome back to another vision of the channel today. Another chance round up as we get ready for a big shift off to Saudi Arabia and a few incomings as well. Let's get into it. So off then, go to Kante. Kante has signed a contract now for the reality ad deal. Nichols done in Dubai. It's a four year deal until 2027. We'll get £90 million a year, or it's $25 million. Yeah, this one's going to be done. Announcement soon. Kante to reality ad. The first of many Chelsea Saudi Arabian chances. Next up, Edward Mendy. Personal terms agreed with Al Ali. Not signed though. The contract will be until 2026. Negotiations at the final stage move very close. We think this one could be done this week. So, so we knew Mendy wanted to get away. We knew, obviously, he's not going to be the first keeper. I don't think we're even going to sign a keeper to be first short. This one going to suit with Kepa. I, I said to you, I think it's a bit disappointing move for him to go to Saudi Arabia. But I'm assuming they're going to get big bags. The next pair to go to Saudi Arabia, Hakim Ziyech. He wants this move. Personal terms have been agreed with Al Nasser. Obviously, he's going to get to play alongside Ronaldo. I mean, was you know, a crazy sprint to him. Uh, Chelsea, it could be done this well, it should be done this week. They seem to come up with a price tag, and obviously, Ziyech is on a contract. So, Ziyech to Al Nasser, going to happen very soon. Kelly Kulabali, he's Saudi Arabia bound as well. Four for the players. Um, Al Halal offering him 30 million euros, what is 25 million pounds a year on a three year deal. As his first bit expected soon will be from 25 million euros to 30 million euros, what is 21 million pounds to 25 million pounds. Don't know whether we'll accept this or reject this, I'm not sure, but we also think this is another one that could be done this week. So we could sell four players to Saudi Arabia just this week. For me, I don't really want us to get rid of Kulabali, but it's going to happen now, but looks it, so. There's a point of debate in it. Well, we're not going to talk about Saudi Arabia for a second because Nicholas Jackson, this one is moving. Chelsea set to spend the 35 million euros, what is 29 million pounds, where he scores to Villarreal. He only wants this on Chelsea. It'll be a long term contract over five years. Um, so, yeah, this one seems to be happening very quick as well. We're going to get a new striker in, what I'm looking forward to. I'm planning on doing another video about him, which analyses him. So, expect that soon, but yeah. We just play this one. Romelu Lukaku, he will not go to Saudi Arabia, that's 100% confirmed. He wants to play in Europe, most likely into Milan. Well, you think we're done with the Saudi Arabia talk? We are not. Pierre Emmerich Aubameyang, he's in discussions with Saudi Arabia. I think he's been talks with a bunch of clubs. There's been no agreement, no. But that does seem to be the way, um, what he's going to go to. Last but not least, Trevor Chalaba, he was asked about a potential move to Italy. He said, we never know what happens. Lizzie he likes Italy. But he said he's on the contract with Chelsea right now. But he said he's, you know, the level on Syria is very high. He said he likes the teams and he likes how life is in, the, in Italy. So he's just keeping the door open. He doesn't want to shut the door on either staying Chelsea or going to Syria by the looks of it. He's trying to keep all his options open. Yeah, that's it for today. I said a big Saudi Arabian ship off coming very soon. But yeah, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. See ya.